Is it? Is it messy? Um. Oh, it's so bad. Hey gang, so, oh, that's so corny. Um, <laughs> that's my thing though. Uh, right now it's New Year's Eve. New Year's, New, it's New Year's. Uh, and uh, there's a lot of thoughts going in my head, but you know what's the only thought that's going in my head right now? It's a mouse review. So, right now we're gonna do, wait, I have to do a. Is that a good thumbnail? Okay. <laughs> Today we're gonna talk about the Rival 110. Now, first of all, uh, if you've heard of, uh, like, the Rival 100, Rival 95, uh, Rival 3, in fact, these are all the same shape, I'm pretty sure. <coughs> Difference is, this is an improvised version, re-improved version of the Rival 100, and, yeah, it's, it's pretty good. I mean, what can I say? The difference is, is that, the difference is that the Rival 100 is in stock and this isn't. So, let's review this. Not really review, initial impressions. So, first of all, this mouse is three years old. This was actually my first, like, actual gaming mouse. And, I don't know, dude. I, it, it like, I gave it to my friend for a year. But, like, uh, he gave it back. So, uh, I, like, I haven't played with the shape in a while. But, I got it, I got it in, like, se I think I got it in, like, 8th, 8th, 7th grade, 7th grade, I'm pretty sure. Like, this, this mouse has been with me, like, most of my life that's crazy like when i started streaming i started using this mouse it's a really nice mouse and guess what from all that use from all that torture and abuse of overwatch or whatever game um this mouse i would say has better build quality than the mm710 it has survived better you know like you can see there's obvious signs of wear and tear but this mouse will last you i would say basically your entire life don't 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 call me on that but uh okay so first off Let's just go through everything that every other mouse reader does. The sides, the sides are really grippy. Do you see that? Do you see that? Um, you see that textured plastic? It's so nice to grip onto. Like, I would say, you know, they did their best with the sides because they couldn't really, because this is a budget mouse, so they couldn't really do like any, any sort of rubber. So the textured plastic is just really nice to have. The the buttons sound really dull. Check this out. Isn't that terrible? Oh wait, let's turn on something funny in the background. Okay, um, holy shit, where was I? The buttons, they sound super dull, right? Like, these are the most, these are the saddest sounding buttons that I've ever used in my life, but hell, they're sad because they've been in commission for too long and want to be put out of their misery. Uh, if you're looking for a nice budget mouse and the G, G203 is in stock, get this one. It's $20 if you can find it in stock, actually. Um, see ya. Happy New Year and shit. Bye. Uh, there will be a day where I remember to tell people to smash that sub button, but it isn't today. Uh, if you haven't already, uh, subscribe and shit. Bye.